Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this video, I am going to show you how we can measure the distance between two points in real world using LiDAR, AR kit, Reality kit and Swift UI. So basically this is the basic code which we are going to extend to add our functionality. So first we are going to create a class coordinator. Because for calling the tap function, we need to have that function encapsulated in a class. So we created here a class of coordinator. I'm passing here two of the properties, distance and position, which are going to be with the macro of binding, which means that their values are passed by the function that is going to create an object of this class. Here I'm declaring the default init method and now I'm going to change it to this binding type for float and SIMD3 float. SIMD3 float is basically a type which is going to store the values of and positions of objects inside the real world with three coordinates for x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Here I am calculating the distance between two points. It is a simple logic which using Euclidean distance we calculate the distance between two points where we subtract their values from one point to another, then we basically square them and take the square root to calculate the distance. So simply copy all of these steps. First, I am calculating the delta between these three positions. Basically the x, y and z axis. Now I am calculating the distance by applying the formula that I have discussed previously. So this is how we are going to square each of the delta. We are going to multiply it with itself. There might be a function built into Swift UI for calculating the square. You can use that also. Here I am returning the distance. So next I am writing here the function handle tab with the macro of at the rate of objective C. So let's add the code here. So here I'm getting the AR view from the gesture recognizer view and then basically converting it into AR view type else returning. So it is going to basically return us the view in which the gesture recognizer is working. Now we are going to get the touch location. So this is basically the location inside that AR view that we have just got inside our variable AR view. So next we are going to add some of the import statements which is basically to import ARCAT and you can see here that some of the errors are going to be removed by this addition of ARCAT. So here I am using this method of recasting inside that AR view which is going to basically travel from our touch location to a certain point and then we are going to get that result and see what we are going to do with that result. So here I've added reality kit as well. With this parameter of allowing, you can basically limit the detection inside the horizontal or vertical plane, but I have added it as dot estimated plane and then alignment is like dot any. We are going to get the first object or the first position it is going to hit. There may be a lot of positions that this raycast is going to hit, but we are going to get the position of the nearest object by getting dot first. Now we are going to convert the world transform of hit test result to basically position. And on line number 49 and 50, you are going to see that how we have done that. So here we have got the position inside the real world. We are going to basically append this position inside our variable of positions, which is going to be passed to then our content view and it is going to draw circles on our actual real world. So here I'm applying that logic that we are going to get if the positions dot count is greater than two, which means that we have marked two or more points it is going to calculate the distance between the last two marked points. 
now we are going to basically create an anchor entity and then a model entity and then model entity is basically the circle or sphere that we want to basically place inside our real world we have presented it with a radius a certain material and then a color which is red and setting is metallic to true now we are going to basically add this point entity as a child to point anchor so point anchor is going to be the parent now we are going to add this point anchor to our ar view by using the ar view dot scene dot add function next we are going to create a struct ar view controller which is going to extend ui view representable basically this is the way to encapsulate a ui kit view and functions inside swift ui so that we can call this easily inside our view so again we have passed that binding variables distance and positions next we are going to override the function of make ui view and we are adding the code here the line number 31 onwards is very important because all of these lines are going to help you start the tracking of the ray casting inside your real world so do not miss any of these lines so we have added a configuration and then we have added plane detection which you can limit to horizontal or vertical i have added the plane detection on both directions then environment texturing is set to dot automatic now here i am creating a variable of tab gesture which is going to use our handle tap function and next we are going to return the ar view i have added a placeholder to remove an error which is basically update ui view and i have removed everything from its body now here i am adding the gesture recognizer to our ar view on line number 39 inside the make ui view function and i am returning the ar view from make ui view function next i am going to write one final function inside our ar view container which is make coordinate make coordinator which is going to return a coordinator object and it is going to call the initializer of the coordinator now all of the errors are fixed and finished and next we are just going to add this ar view container inside our content view but first let's add the two properties here and change at the rate of binding to state and provide them initial values so let's create a v stack it will contain an ar view container with these binding functions sorry variables that are being passed inside this ar view container function next we are adding here the text which is going to basically display the distance between the points that we have just created inside our real world so copy all of this code and let's get to the testing phase here i am running the code in simulator to show you that nothing will be shown here because we need an actual device for the testing of this code so there is no dummy camera or any real world settings that we can test using the simulator so you need to have an actual device here i am adding the specific permissions of privacy camera usage description add those with the following steps i am using the latest xcode version here so you can basically state the reason of using the camera for this app next i am going to show you here that you may see this error if your iphone is on a previous version as compared to that set by your xcode settings so i have changed it and now the code is ready to run so here you can see that i am placing the points according to 
this box dimensions and you are going to see the distance on the right hand side since i have captured all of this in landscape mode it might look a bit awkward on the screen so this is all for this tutorial you can basically cross check these values according to the Meyer app inside the ios which does the same thing and i hope you have learned something from it do not forget to like and share this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned more interesting lidar based videos will be coming in the near future thanks for watching